mother of oceans, mother of grace. Oh, please, won't you tell me that it's not too late? Joining me now is Detroit musician, singer, songwriter, Audra Kuba. Hi, Audra. How are you? Hi. How are you, Christy? Nice to see you. It's great to see you, too. How's everything been going? Um, pretty good, uh, all considering. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a strange time for everyone. It's got to be especially strange to be a musician at this time when it's a really different way to share your music and to share your art. Yeah, um, it is. What's been really exciting is to watch sort of the community of musicians sharing their work still and going live and in this new format and finding really um, that people need it so much. Like, I think that um, what it's helped remind me and I think many others is that live music is so important for the soul. And so when you see people go live um, on Facebook and other sort of social media, Instagram and such, and you see the response of the people watching and like the little hearts flying by and the comments like, oh, this is so nice. And that's such a wonderful um, way to connect that I don't think we may have realized that um, before this time. Being able to see people live on my stream that I wouldn't have normally seen. And because I have nothing much going on, I'm like, okay, I can sit here and really like connect with this moment. Um, so really hearing people in this such an intimate space too, like even talking to you here, it's like, I feel like we have this intimacy that we can, you know, talk and it's very um, comfortable. And so I've been having those experiences with watching artists play and really being able to, you know, I'm not in a bar, it's not really loud and there's not people like, you know, clinking drinks and such. And, and suddenly I'm like, I'm in this space with this artist, I can really listen to the words. You've been in the Detroit music scene for a long time. You have six albums. Um, how would you describe to people the Detroit music scene? Um, welcoming <laughs> is the first word. Um, yeah, an eclectic and, and, you know, sort of bold and, and you know, uh, moves a lot. It has like a real uh, sort of sense of movement and in inclusivity, I think, um, because there's so many different kinds of musicians. Um, and I'm, I'm really lucky because I, I teach uh, at a university um, at, at Dime Detroit downtown. And so I come in contact with all kinds of like young musicians who are learning about songwriting in some of my classes. And they're just all across the board as far as like they're doing folk or country or R&B or rap or, you know, like some kind of like mesh of that. Um, so I get to sort of connect with all of those like sort of really like feverishly uh, excited artists. It is beautiful. It's something that like just immediately, you know, you can, you can put your fingers on something. It's visceral. It's like tactile. Even if you don't know is, you know, like whatever level you're at with music, it's sort of like, it's just innate. It really is. It's like, you know, it's, I always try to remind people that, you know, the artist isn't somebody that's like up here and then the audience is down here. Like we are all a part of that wave. Even as a writer, everything that I see and all the people I come in contact with, you know, they inform my songs. We are all sort of a part of that. Hey, Audra, tell us about the, um, the Earth Day song that you're ah, writing yeah. right now. So um, that, I wrote a song um, a little while ago, um, Oh Mother. And it's actually on my album. I put out an album um, in November called The Sliver and the Salve. Um, and the song is called Oh Mother. And it's a celebration of her beauty. And also, there's a warning in there. You know, it's very much about the climate crisis and sort of inequality sort of across the board, um, uh, you know, when it comes to sort of caring for each other and uh, translating that into really caring for the earth and what that means for everybody. Oh, mother of light, mother of day, you wait for the words that we promise to say We stand in your shadow but must sit by your side To hear your song in the winds blown wild And I trust in the world you have given to us I will fight with my bones and my fists if I must 
to shatter the walls they put up with fear. I will break all the rules just to keep her here. Oh, mother of mountains, mother of fire. I climb your highest ridges and I light the pyre. To burn down the kingdoms created by greed And we'll dance on their ashes, watch their power recede And I trust in the world you have given to us I will fight with my songs and my words if I must To tear down the fences and take down the flags We'll undo the lines that divide us in half Oh, mother of freedom, mother of hope I'll strip back the blinders and I'll cut all the rope And I'll smash all the windows, give way all my clothes And I'll walk through your valleys, get your mud on my toes And I trust in the world you have given to us I'll fight with my fingers, tooth and nail if I must and I'll study your bones, whole space in your name. With all that I am, I will work for the change. Oh, mother of oceans, mother of grace. Oh, please, won't you tell me that it's not too late? Your bodies of water soon won't run clear. And the men on the hill, they just don't seem to care. And I trust in the world you have given to us I will fight with my heart and my mind if I must And I'll gather 